Hello everyone, thank you for visiting my channel. Today I am going to introduce some sound rules. If you already know how to say Korean words, still I am going to introduce some sound rules. You should know and your Korean may sound a lot better. So after this lesson I am going to upload more videos. Your time being with me will be valuable. I have a book published in Kindle. It consists of 39 chapters. I am going through all the chapters to the end of the book. So if you are with me up to the end of that book, I think your Korean will be like native Koreans Korean. I am going to introduce some Korean literature and Korean culture and my tour to mountain and tourist attractions in Korea and I will make video and upload here for the excitement of your visiting this channel. So be always with me and then it will be valuable time for you. Thank you and I'm going to go into the lesson. While the lesson goes on for the efficiency, I'm going to hide my face and Please focus on the content of the lesson. Chapter 1 Alphabet So today we will study alphabet and sound secrets with real young hip and bottom consonants among many others Tigut, Shiut, Jiut, Chiut, Tiut In Korean we have four kinds of alphabets single consonants and vowels single vowels twin consonants double vowels double bottom consonants these three are subsidiary if you study these single consonants and single vowels and if you master them or the other three will be subsidiary and you will understand these three very easily so look at this table number one kyok this sound only like g so look at this word kim in korean we have a lot of people who have surnames kim and this is usually romanized like this Kim even though it should be romanized like this and people don't romanize this like this because this can be also said like Jim and because of this Kim, some people or some teachers teach Kyok like K, which is not correct. So, this Kyok should be always sound like K in Gar. Cargill, Guess, Nium, Nium, Snar, N, Snar, T, Tigut, T, Darling. Real, this has two sounds, R and L. When it sounds like R and when it sounds L, we will study this later in this chapter. Nium, this is like M in Marsh. Bup. This is like B in Barber. B. S. This is like Shiot. S in Swim. This Yung, when it's put in front, has no sound. When it's put at the bottom, this sounds like MG in Sing. NG in song, 
and the in gang chiu chu in jail chiu chu in church kyu ku in kiss tiu tu in terrific piu pu in power hiu h hu in harp when it's put in front this has h sound when, when it's put at the bottom it has a few other sounds so we will study bottom hill sound later in this chapter i need to introduce this vowel word to you this is a no a this is straight a sound no curving up or curving down at the end ya straight ya o straight o in on early yo in yon o in o no curving at the end yo in yo u in us u in you u in mm -hmm. in english filler word you have u mm -hmm. e in eerie or eel fish eel how korean word is made it's made with consonant and vowel put together gu a so this is ga consonant nu vowel nya ya so this is nya consonant du vowel o this is the consonant ru vowel yo this is ryo mu o mo bu yo pyo s u su u yu yu zu zu u Zu, chi, i, chi. So remember the combination consonant power. I put here Arabic number one, two, three, and here A, B, C just for the convenience of students Korean study instead of saying put kyok with a if you say like put number one with a it's more convenient so let's practice by combining different combination for example randomly choose number five mium and number h so mium okay mium number h is u so always mium and don't put this way this power should go down that way So, but this consonant goes this way. So, any vowel with horizontal line should go down. Any vowel with vertical line, vertical line will be put aside, will be put sideways like this. Okay? So this table and number is made for the convenience of your combination practice. So A B G O M O N I M O R I A B G is father. 
Omoni is mother, Mori is head, Ko is nose. And then here, you are introduced to word with bottom consonant. For example, number five, this is Nu, Nu. And then you have bottom consonant Nim. So when it's put, it's like an N, U, and this is also N, Nun. Yes. And then this E is like E, N, P. But this view will go down here, not put outside. And then the sound should be also put down here. Don't say this like eeb, but eeb. How do you say in English this word? Do you say this word like lip? Or do you say lip? Yes, this P goes under and stifled. So all Korean word with bottom consonant, that bottom consonant goes under. And don't put that bottom consonant sound outside. So ip, son, bam, not, yoil. So ip is your mouth, son is hand, bam, this is too many, one is night, the other is chestnut, not, this is daytime, yoil, week, one week, two week, week. And then here I introduced how to say Yung alphabet correctly. Look at this drawing. Number one Yung does not sound. Number three Yung has NG sound. So all these together will say like will be said like Ang. Okay. So here. Practice with this example word. How will you say this? Ah, ya, o, yo, o, yo, u, 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 e. And then here you have yung at the bottom, so it will be like ang, yang, ung, yung, ong, yong, ung, yung. Mm, in. And then here you have consonant at the beginning and yung at the bottom. Gong, nang, dang, rang, mang, bang, sang, ang, chang, chang, kang, tang, pang, hang. So when a person is named like this, How will you say? This is Gang Chang Song. So when it's Romanized, it will be like this. No Koreans Romanize Gang like G here. They put always K there. Because if you put G here, it's Gang. So it has negative meaning. Kang. And then this here also Chang. And then this is a Sang song. So when valuable player 
Ken Cheng Song participated in Olympic Games and the uh, European broadcasters had a hard time saying this word correctly. They say Ken Cheng Song when it should be originally Gang Chang Song. Gak Nan Gar Gam Gap Gat Gang. All these bottom consonants have different sound. I put this word here to ask you to say the bottom consonant correctly. So bottom consonant, look at this drawing. You have ga above and gu at the bottom. So when it's put in English, this will be like gag. And then if you say this like gag, it's not correct Korean sound. This gu goes down. And you should say this word like gak. If you say gak, even merely, that's not correct. And then I put here more, I put your uh, table of alphabets again. Because you may not remember all the sound values yet. So, but I have here some example words. Practice with these words for pronunciation. How will you say this word? Ganan. Ganan means poorness, poverty. Jayu, freedom. Jari, place. So practice, learn the value of sound of alphabets with words, even though you can try to remember all the sound values by the alphabets, it's not very valuable, it's not very useful. Instead, you should try to remember the sound value with real words. Jaju. Jaju means often. Mom, body, this dut tongue is headache. Bok tongue is stomach ache. Chit tongue is toothache. Arumdapta is beautiful gossam chest. Shinjang heart. Jarang pride. Oje yesterday. Honor today. So after this lesson, come back to this page and practice this sound again and again. Particularly, be careful with words with bottom consonant. I again have the table of alphabets for the student who does not remember the alphabet sound value. Honor is sky, this one adum, darkness, chimmu, Silence, chim sil, bedroom, not bathroom, dongseng, younger brother or younger sister, jangun, military general, hakyo, school, kyolhon, this is marriage, jangso, place, odiya, this is where are you. Ya is friendly ending. So use this to your friend, not to your father or to your mother. Iriwa, this also come here, is used to your friend or to your child. So ya, a, wa, these are friendly form of ending a sentence. Kaja, let's go. Jaja, let's go to bed. Don't say this to your mother and to your father. 
가자 자자 is friendly form of ending a sentence. 조용하다. Somebody or something is quiet. 나는 아담입니다. I am Adam. 나는 여기 처음입니다. Yes, from these example sentences, find the repeated phrases. 나는 아담입니다. 나는 여기 처음입니다. I am new here. 어느 나라 사람이지요? 어느 나라, which country, 사람, people, are you? Where are you from? 미안합니다. So, 니다 is ending of a sentence. Polite form of ending a sentence. 한 번만 더 부탁합니다. One more time. I will ask you a favor. 감사합니다. Thank you. 나는 영국 사람입니다. 나는, 나는. I am Englishman. 나는 남자입니다. I am a man. 나는 여자입니다. I am a woman. 나는 행, 학생입니다. I am a student. 나는 행복합니다. I am happy. 나는 부자입니다. I'm rich. 나는 성실합니다. I'm conscientious. 어머니가 그립습니다. I miss my mother. So you have every sentence, almost every sentence, nida ending. Biup nida ending is polite form of ending a sentence. And nun here, na nun, nun nun. This is subjective ending. You have ga here. This is emphatic subjective ending. And then here, I introduce the sound rule of real and here. Let's look at real sound first. So here, this read this word and then uh, this word yes look at this word this real bottom real is followed by another real and then this following real sound like L this single real sound like R. So this real does not have any real preceding it. So this is R sound, ORA. This real following real has L value, so OLA. So look at here, ORA, GARA, BORA, JARA, SARA. And this one, because it has real at the bottom, and it, fo it is followed by another real, so following real is sound like air, so olla, kalla, polla, jalla, salla. Okay, here, kara, kalla, nara, nalla, bara, palla, ora, polla. Sura Sulla Ara Alla Ora Ulla Jara Jalla Tara Talla Para Palla Rago Rani Ramian Raita Simple isn't it? So let's look at Hut sound rule. When Hut is put in front of a word, this Hut has H sound. Hada. 하는, 해서, 하니, 학교, student, school, 학생, student, 학위, degree, 학장, 딘, 
혼잡, confusion, 흔한, common, 훈남, generous man, 현금, cash. And when he is put under, like here, here, here is put under a word. And this here is followed by consonant. When it's followed by dig, this dig sound like ta. When this here is followed by consonant giok, this giok sound like k. Look at here. Here followed by giok, giok sound like k. Here is followed by dig, and dig sound like t. Here is followed by j, and j sound like ch. So this one, not ta, not ta ga, not te ra do, not ko, not cha. So not ta is giving birth to all the other are the conjugations of not ta. Not ta is place something on the surface of something. So not ta ga, not te ra do, not not cha. And when hiut bottom consonant is followed by niun, this hiut change its sound into n sound. So this word will sound like nanun. But when this hit bottom consonant is followed by power, this hit does not sound at all. This hit loses its sound. So this will be said like na'a. So let's practice here. Nan-nun. Because Hiut is followed by niun, nanna, nannunya, nannura, nonnun, nonna, nonnunya, nonnura. Here, hiut is followed by vowel, naun, nasu, nauni, nauryogo, nauryadon, non, nasu, nauni, nauryogo, nauryadon. Yes, hiut is followed by power, and this hiut does not have any sound at all. And then here, let's look at the bottom consonant, kyok, niun, riel, niun, niun, pyuk. Look at this example word, kak, kan, kal, kap, kam, kang, kap, this kap. Is said the same. Nak, nan, nal, nap, nan, nang, nap. Yes, this bottom consonant has different pronunciation. But this digut, shiut, jiut, jiut, tigut is said the same when it's used at the bottom. So, cut, 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 the same dig sound. Not, 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 not. So, it's same as like in English, not. You don't say this word like not to. So, Korean, this should be said like not, and this one also not. However, when this not is followed by power, this power goes to this, uh, this consonant goes to this power, and then this G date with this power 
and they bear a child called G. So this is Naji. So when you have word like how will you say this? So this chill goes to this girl and have a child called Chi. Chi. So this will be said like not Chi. So when these words are said independently, it is said the same, but when it is followed by power, this word is said differently. Today we learned some sound rules. When you follow this sound rule, your Korean will be really good and it will be heard like native Korean. So come back to this and review again and again and I will come back with some other material in our next class. Thank you.